Hi guys and welcome. This is officially week one post hair transplant. Um, yeah, the days are going by quite quickly actually now. And um, I think from this point on, it's gonna be easier and easier. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I've actually washed off most of the scabs now. So this is what it looks like now. As you can see, my native hairs are growing a lot quicker than the transplanted hairs because uh, the transplanted hairs are still quite weak. Uh, eventually, they'll all fall off anyway over the next couple of weeks and the uh, newer, stronger, regenerated hairs will start growing in after about two months time. So uh, yeah, this is, like I said before, this is a long process. Um, you just gotta stick with it. But yeah, I'm very happy with how it looks at the moment anyway. I'll just give you a quick look at my donut area because that's growing in quite nicely as well. And the burning sensation is going away as well. So last night it was probably at its worst. Like again, I woke up in the middle of the morning and had to take some painkillers. But this morning when I woke up, I would say the pain was like 40% less than it was yesterday. So already it's just getting better and better. I think the burning sensation from what I've heard is just the, just the nerves repairing themselves. Um, so it's a natural thing. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm very glad that the pain is starting to go away now. And like I said before, it's just gonna get easier and easier from now on out. Uh, my next update is probably gonna be week two next week. So I'm not gonna be doing daily uh, vlogs anymore. Hi guys, so I was just editing the video and then I just thought I'd add a few things that I forgot to mention before about the removing the scabs. So yeah, you might be confused as to, you know, which day to remove the scabs on because I know that there is a lot of people on YouTube that you know remove their scabs on day seven like me some of them remove their scabs on day eight day nine day ten etc um, but yeah all you have to do is just follow the instructions by your from your clinic you know so if your clinic says to remove you know, the scabs on day seven do it on day seven if they tell you to remove the scabs on day ten remove it on day ten so anyway I remove mine on day seven and I'll just give you a quick rundown on the actual process first of all I rinsed off my whole hair with warm water so basically what I did was just fill up one of these with warm water and just rinse it over my head over a sink I uh, did that a couple of times and then after that I applied this foam all over my recipient area uh, massaged it into my scalp gently and then I just uh, left it for like 20 to 30 minutes uh, and then I came back rinsed it off again with one of these bottles of warm water twice and then what I did was I applied this shampoo and again I just massaged it into my recipient area uh, and then after that I just started to gently remove the scabs with my fingers just by massaging it but then I, I noticed that it was taking uh, a long time uh, and then I realized that I've got one of these things there with me uh, and this is just a little a facial exfoliating brush that I use on my face just it's really good at removing any kind of dirt oil uh, dead skin that you know builds up on your skin and just leaves your, your skin feeling really cleansed afterwards so the bristles on this are very very soft you know it's softer than my fingers so and there's lots of them it's like densely packed with bristles so I just thought you know what I'm gonna try and use this to remove some of my scabs just to see if it works so I ran this under some warm water uh, on the tap and then I gently started to scrub away the scabs just in a circular motion like this uh, very very gently without applying any pressure and then I noticed that it was removing the scabs really really well like very effectively I looked at this thing and I could see that there was lots of scabs built up uh, already within the bristles so I just rinsed it off in water and then I continued. So I just did this in circular motions like for uh, 10 to 20 seconds each time, then I would rinse it off, 10 to 20 seconds each time again, then rinse it off. Uh, and then I got through and got rid of most of my scabs within five minutes. You know, I watched a lot of YouTube videos out there of people, you know, using knives and using their fingernails and stuff like that and it, and it was taking forever. But yeah, this thing removed it in like five minutes and completely painless there was no blood no pain it didn't pull on any hairs um, yeah just a very pleasant experience overall it felt quite nice actually and uh, there weren't hardly any hairs 
that came off. I, I counted about three hairs that actually came off out of like 2,700. So this is probably the most effective scab removal tool out there. Um, but yeah, so that worked really well. Uh, as you can see, most of my scabs came off without actually losing any of my hair. Um, the thing that you'll have noticed is the transplanted hairs are very, very small. There's lots of them. So if I zoom in, you can see there's, I didn't lose any of them. There's still lots and lots of little hairs, but they're a lot shorter than the rest of my uh, natural hair. And that's because, you know, these hairs are temporary anyway. Um, so they're not going to grow as quickly as the, your existing hair is going to grow. Like my hair's growing in re really, really quickly. So you can see like the difference between this and my natural hair and my transplanted hair. But like I said before, all of this is going to eventually fall off in the next few weeks. And that's, that will initiate the shedding process. And then new uh, regenerated hairs will grow back. And those regenerated hairs will grow at the same rate as your natural hair. And it will look and feel more natural as well. Like this, at the moment, it, it feels a bit different. It feels a bit more coarse than my original hair. But yeah, like I said, the, once the temporary hairs fall off and new ones grow in replacement, uh, those ones will look and feel a lot more natural. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention in regards to uh, the scab removal, don't worry if you see like a few hairs fall off, it's completely natural and like I said before, all of these hairs will eventually fall off anyway, so it's no big deal, they'll grow back eventually like within the next few months. But yeah, that was like my biggest fear uh, when it came to removing my scabs, I just felt, felt that, you know, what if all of my transplanted uh, hairs would just fall off as I was removing the scabs, that, was, that would have been my complete nightmare <laughs> but luckily as you can see like they're all still here there's lots and lots of little hairs there they're just very very small i think what's going to happen is over the next few weeks is most of these hairs if not all of them will fall off uh, and then my corners here will grow in first and then probably my hairline here will follow second and then these parts here will probably be the last to grow in that's just kind of the pattern that I've seen from other YouTubers as well. Like their corners just seem to grow in very quickly first and then the hairline and then the rest of the hairs slowly afterwards. But yeah, like I'm not really expecting to see great results up until maybe like month four, month five, month six. You know, this is like a, a long process. And that's what you've really got to remember is that it's, it, this is a, a, a long process and this is a marathon, not a sprint. And you just got to remember that and just stick to the process and trust the process. And hopefully after around six months, eight months you know ten months you'll start seeing some very nice thick hairs coming through so i'll check back with you guys this time next week um, if you want to follow along like subscribe hit the bell notification so that you'll be alerted every time i post a new video um, if you have any questions drop them down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on the next one peace